there's more to life than increasing its speed or quantity. If you're willing to slow down and be open to it, there's a great deal that you can really learn from nature. The lessons are all around us, and they're not just reserved for the special, privileged few. From even the smallest of leaves to the largest, oldest trees, they're all great teachers in some way. We talk about change as if it's always coming from outside, as if it's always dependent on something external. If only I had more money, more resources. The time isn't right. I'm not ready yet. But all of these things, they focus on external things, external reasons why change isn't possible. The focus is on the outside. Ultimately though, it's about you and you alone. The continuous and honest pursuit of any quality is what truly matters. Because if you search long and earnestly enough, you will find what you seek. Just like the roots of a tree, burrowing deep into the darkness of the soil to find nutrition and water. It doesn't have a map, it doesn't have a guide, but it finds its way, trusting itself to create light from within to find the way, trusting its thirst for growth. If there is any truth in this world, then it has to exist, not just in holy buildings and great books, but in the smallest things, the simplest of things. You can learn just as much from observing a tree or a leaf or from a stream of running water as you can from the oldest and most ancient scriptures that we have. I mean, look at the way nature is constantly changing, evolving and adapting. Isn't life like that? Look at the cycles of seasons. Everything goes through constant growth, then constant decay. Ups and downs, peaks and valleys. Isn't life like that? Look at water. Even though it's fluid and you can't grab a hold of it, it can wear down and erode the roughest, most jagged rocks. Yet, it remains flexible, malleable and adaptable. What if you tried to be like that in your own life, in your relationships, adapting like